Good morning. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Minister, distinguished guests, welcome to fabulous Lancaster House, the um, British business embassy for the last goodness knows how many days. I think this is at least the 25th day of amazing events being held in this fabulous uh, venue during the Olympic and Paralympic Games. Uh, my name is John Tibbs. I run a, a, a public relations, international relations agency in the Olympic world called JTA. I also am chair <coughs> of the Global Sports Projects Sector Advisory Group for UKTI. More on that later. Quite a mouthful. Um, today is going to be a day for <coughs> listening to a lot of the best practice, uh, new thinking, innovation that was introduced here at the Olympic and Paralympic Games, opportunity for networking, opportunity to see what we've learned and how we can move forward. And we're grateful to Arena Group, Gallo Glass, P-Cubed, and 4Global for their sponsorship that's helped enable us to put this on today. Um, there are also a few bit of housekeeping things that I've been asked to remind you of. There are some forms in your packs which we would like you to have a look at at some stage, preferably not during the speeches, uh, that we would like, like you to fill in and return afterwards. This really does help UKTI and organizers always uh, improve the product moving forward. We have a really packed schedule today. Now, the Olympic and Paralympic Games have seen athletes trying to shave time off their performances. These sorts of conferences are notorious for speakers trying to add time on to uh, their performances. So I'm going to be awarding medals throughout the day as your chair to the people, the speakers, who've been able to be on time or even break their own personal records and uh, shave time off their allotted time so that we will try and deliver everything on schedule. It gives me enormous pleasure now to introduce our keynote speaker, um, Hugh Robertson, MP, who was originally an army officer from 1985 to 1995 and saw active service in Northern Ireland, Gulf War, and Bosnia uh, during the siege of Sarajevo. He then joined the investment arm of Schroders before becoming elected to Parliament in 2001, where he was the Shadow Minister for Sport and the Olympics from 2005. He was appointed Minister for Sport and the Olympics when the coalition came to power in May 2010 and must be one of the proudest guys on the planet with what he and the other stakeholders have witnessed in London over the last three or four weeks. Ladies and gentlemen, Hugh Robertson. <laughs> 